news now. It's almost 20 years since a massacre in what was Yugoslavia made global headlines. More than 8,000 Muslim men and boys were killed in Srebrenica. It was the worst atrocity in European history since World War II. But what made neighbours turn on each other and why, two decades later, is genocide continuing elsewhere? Miriam Francois Gerard has been to Srebrenica and heard from a group of young people, all born in the year of the genocide, to try to understand what lessons, if any, have been learned. And we'll talk to Miriam in just a moment. First, though, here's a clip from that documentary. We've now got the chance to meet some of the women who lost their husbands and sons. They're known as the mothers of Srebrenica. On the 11th of July 1995, within one day, I lost, I lost 23 family members. As they were, quite often they say, we, we died a long time ago, but we are just waiting for our turn to be buried. I buried my youngest son. His last words were, Mom, don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Trust me, trust me, I have no strength to talk about it. Because my soul 